Today I will be teaching you how to do the toner scale. The resources we'll be using will be paper, ruler, pencil, eraser, and sharpener. The first thing we're going to do is to use our ruler to draw the spaces where we're going to do the shading. And I will be showing you three different techniques of shading and how to do this toner scale with them. The first one will be the blending technique, blending. The second one will be the hatching technique. And the third one is going to be the cross hatching technique. For each of these techniques, I'll be giving you four different tones. So I'm, I'm going to start with the blending technique, the blending technique. Normally when you do the blending technique, you're supposed to use the overhand pencil grip because you want to use the side of your pencil i know a lot of times many teachers or artists they start from the darkest tone but today i want to go from the lightest tone to the darkest tone don't forget i said you're going to use the overhand grip on your pencil because you want to use the side of the pencil you want to rub the side of the pencil on the paper to be able to achieve the effect you want. And feel free to turn your paper around. So this is going to be my lightest tone. Today I'll be working on the lightest tone, light tone, dark tone, and the darkest tone. So the first layer, which is my lightest tone, I will do it in the four boxes. Minimal pressure and minimal rubbing. The normal thing to do, if you want to use blending technique and make it darker, is to keep on rubbing layers so this is my second box so i'm putting another layer i'm rubbing another layer on, on it to make it darker than the first box these three boxes are slightly darker now than the first box the reason being that i am putting on them the second layer and for this blending i know some people use tissue paper or their fingers or cutting board to rub i don't want to do that i want to achieve an effect that can only be created by my pencil when you start you may not be as fast as i am but it doesn't matter i, I wasn't this fast when I started doing this too. So it's practice that make you better at it. If your pencil mark should go out of the line, just take an eraser and erase that part. So there are two major ways to achieve this. You keep rubbing. If you want somewhere darker, that's the first way to achieve it. The second way to achieve it is to apply pressure on your pencil. You can actually apply the two at the same time. All right, so I've got my lightest tone, my light tone, my dark tone, and I'm going for the fourth layer, which is going to give me the darkest tone. Don't forget the, the pencil grip you should maintain for this blending technique is overhand because the overhand pencil grip would allow you to use the side of the pencil more conveniently and to achieve a relatively even tone now the next technique i will be teaching you will be the 
hatching technique. The hatching technique of shading is a technique where you use multiple lines in one direction. I already did a video on five different shading techniques. You can please check that and it will help you to know the different types of techniques. So this is my first set. When you're doing the hatching technique, where you're using the tip of your pencil. If you want a part to be darker, you add more lines, just as I am doing now. The other thing you do is you can also uh, apply a little more pressure on your pencil as you make your marks. Okay, so this is my lightest tone, this is my light tone. Now I want to do my dark tone. And all I am doing is just adding more lines. You will see that I'm, I'm starting to add a little more pressure as the pencil marks are getting darker. So I'm adding more lines, just overlapping the one that the, the lines I did before. And don't forget, the arching technique shows lines in one direction. If you think you're not achieving what you want, there is nothing bad in you rubbing off what you think is wrong and doing the right thing that you think you want to achieve. So that is hatching for you. The lightest tone, the light tone, the dark tone, the darkest tone. And it can actually get darker. And a lot of factors will determine how dark this could be. Maybe the grade of the pencil you're using and how much pressure you, you apply. Some people to even do something like the blending technique, they use different pencil grades. Like you can use a 2B for the light tone, 3B or 4B for the darker tone, and then you keep increasing the pencil grades depending on the shade that you want to achieve. So let's go to the last one for today, which is cross-hatching. Cross-hatching is the use of multiple lines in multiple directions okay so I've got my hatching so in cross hatching you have to first of all do hatching and then you cross it in another direction so this is my lighter stone now so I'm adding more lines more layers and slightly darker than before Just as the previous ones, the more layers of lines you add, the darker the space will look. I'm applying a little more pressure on the pencil so as to get it darker and of course I'm adding more lines than the previous boxes. You need your pencil to be well sharpened. So we have the blending technique, the hatching technique and the cross hatching technique.